Hi, people. This is Princess, and uh, we're looking for a dead body to stab. This is wonderful. And we've got a mirror with no reflection. Anyway, look for a body to stab. Uh, Wasn't we bringing somebody to that? No, because there was no reflection, remember? So, we could go shopping to bring somebody there. I don't know anybody to bring because I don't know their damn face. Unless Slenderman is in here somewhere because I'm sure he doesn't have a reflection. Or Vampire. Try. I'm not going to try anything. I'm going to beat the game. Talk to people. No. Apparently I'm going to have sex with these stairs for a minute because I can't realize to go around them. Quit being a bitch. Nope. Going to do what I want to do. Man, what the fuck? When did we get a manual? I don't know. <laughs> We've had the instructions to the body the entire time. Probably. <laughs> oh, no, that's the manual to do the lantern. Oh, uh, yeah. Make it brighter. Do stuff. Why in the hell do we have a book of matches to start with, too? I've got matches to light a fire somewhere. I don't know anything about that either. Well, let's go to every room and see if I can use the sword in said room. I doubt it. For it here. There's two more rooms in this place right here. Stab the chair. <laughs> Stab yourself. This is stupid. It's my favorite. It's probably one of those things where it's like, oh, it's obvious what you need to do, but we're too, we're too dumb to remember what we Don't need to do. Don't call me dumb! <laughs> Madman's calling people names! Because Madman's a bitch. Hey, fuck you. This? Oh, yeah, I found that mirror. What's the sprint again? Oh, yeah, it's this button. Luckily, you weren't being chased at that moment. Yeah. I forgot how to sprint! Ah! <laughs> Stabbed the teddy bear. Oh, crap. In this room. Oh, wait. I remember to go down. It should be in the same oh. fucking area. <laughs> Fine. I will talk to Butler Man. See? You just said the same thing I read last time. For blood. I've got to find somewhere where my lantern is weakened. Like here. Blood. Open the door. It won't open because I took the sword down, so the room no longer matches. Oh, I took the sword off the wall here, but I can't think to put it back up on the wall. Don't know how. This was uh, the spooky ghost son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, this is where I was literally just fucking around. Sprinting. How do you get to that lower area? I don't know. Apparently, there's invisible stairs that I can't use. I just like stabbed the teddy bear. Not strengthen. You're not using a lantern in there, though. Well, I was hoping. In the next room, to use the lantern. Yeah. And that's when we got to strengthen it to go down. They couldn't go there. So then that leads into that impossible door at the bottom. Button, button, who's got the button? You're gonna get killed, Biff. Nah, we've been here before. <sighs> and this room's well lit, so that was a bust. Oh my god! 
was a door. That was all that was down there. Can you go in the door? No, because the door is stupid. I gotta think of somewhere that. Nope, not going to this room again. <laughs> Which room was it? That was the room that was stupid. Maybe you can stab the door. You know the stupid door? That room was the realm of death. I'm trying to remember places that I've been to that were dark. That wasn't any fun. Why didn't you stab the door? Seeing as I didn't do anything, I'm just gonna go back and repeat what I did. Oh my god! I hate when these games do this crap. Stabbing the door. Oh. Okay. Apparently, all the ladders have all the all the ladders have fireplaces in them. No moron! All the fireplaces have ladders in them. I'm bored. My painting. Because we haven't been there. Um, other than the fact that I have died twice, I don't think so. Mm 
Thought I figured. <sighs> you suck, Princess. <laughs> what? Haven't been to before. What? Which one are you talking about, Ken? The one he was just in. That one? I don't know. I don't know. This one. Where are we? Oh, this is a thing. Oh, I remember this one. Try playing with the blood. But. Waking your lantern. Other than the fact that I've already been here. Now what? I don't know. Go back to the end of the day. Which one? The dark one. The one that you need to enter. Not that one. That one. Everything is self-contained in this game, isn't it? You're supposed to be. So each room will be self contained. Uh, go to the security closet. <laughs> uh, go to the security closet and stab it. <laughs> I think I've already tried that. Take your lantern and um, break, it. break it, break it for a second. So we can see what's all in the room. You can take both swords. The do the door opened in there, didn't it? I don't know. I think everything reset. Right, go go over to the door and see if you can go through this one. Oh. I gotta match it again. I don't think it's. But you took both swords. You took both swords, so you gotta. What's not? I was the cup and the line backwards again. Yep. No. Yay. Okay, we spent that much time. Blood. Well, they'll edit it. I've screamed enough. We get a lantern and stab him. Maybe. 
Ding. <lacht> Über den Tasten. Well, there's a fireplace. I bet you there is a ladder, ladder underneath it. Nope. Can you use the matches? something nearby so the fireplace is probably open now <laughs> yeah because so far every fireplace has had a thing in it um well, that wasn't new. there that's new high blood on the wall you ready to run oh mirror smashing the wrong oh. but... yay did you save it yeah you saved Misha. This video is One day ago, a road. That's very descriptive. So I guess that's how she died. Did she jump from You really don't have to see me off. I think she hmm. It can't hurt to be to be safe at night, right? My house isn't too far from here either. Da, 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 da. Then again, since you're black all over, maybe strangers won't even notice you, Mishra. Why are you so nice? Eh? I've already served as a model for your sister. There's no further need to care about me, is there? I mean, I certainly wasn't de deepening our friendship solely to get to get you to model for me. Then what do you want out of me? No need to hide it. You've done a lot for me, Iato. Hold on. What's the... What's this all of a sudden? I don't want anything in particular out of you. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> out of Oh my God. That that can't be right. It doesn't make sense. There can't be any reason why you would approach me without any, without any motive. Personally I don't calculate motives or pros and cons. When I'm making friends with people when I'm making friends with people, do you, Mishiro? I didn't tell. I didn't. Didn't I tell you? To me, interacting with others means getting warnings from my mom and teacher. I did hear you were in such a situation. Then have you already forgotten what it means for people to interact without a reason? My mom does it to preserve her family's name. My teachers do it to fulfill their job of teaching. So what is it for you, Ayato? I don't understand it. But You're so. overthinking it, Mishiro. He wants to go to Brown Town. <laughs> <laughs> I don't meet with you and talk with you for a reason. I guess, strictly speaking, it's just whether we find talking to each other pleasant or not. That's all. Yeah, whatever. That's always the guy's motive. I heard your, I heard your mom has been disciplining you harshly ever since uh, a few years ago. And that your high school is a very strict all-girls school. But that's irrelevant. Whatever your situation, there's no inherent meaning in people mingling. I first spoke to you because you resembled my sister, but spending, but keeping in touch with you hasn't been for any purpose. And that's fine. It's how things are. So loosen up, okay? Besides, you like having someone to talk to, right? I think of you as a good friend, at least. I'd be shocked if you didn't think of me, think of, think of me that way. I'm sh I know that's not what he said, but it's made sense in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. I, I didn't mean to say. Haha! -ha, I'm just kidding, really though. Enough of all the over logical thinking. Or el or else my meager dream of seeing you smile might never come to pass. Dot dot dot. All right, let's go. Um. Hmm. The, that watch out oh no they get hit by a car what oh uh, he was out
Wait a minute. It was. A, I think it might have been a drunk driver that was swerving, and he threw her out of the way. Stop it! That's enough. Well. So he died. That's strange. The wish she wants to fill might be bringing him back. Yeah. Just stop it. Training herself. For Ayato protecting her from the reckless driver headed toward her and becoming a bloody lump of meat. Mishiro Ushi's heart dying in that instant. And her loss of hope from losing Ayato carrying her to Mirror Lake in which she threw herself in in despair. All these things Mishiro remembered. She killed herself because he died. Just as Mishiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if something she as if she'd lost something important. Her body. She lost the guy. <laughs> He was in love with him. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now that that's happened, uh, we'll end this episode here, guys, and uh, see you in the next one. Leave a like and subscribe. Stay, stay salty, people. Bye. Okay. And in today's episode of Screaming with Princess, even though screaming with me wouldn't be possible on the internet, just feel free to let out all your emotions and scream with me anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, people. We have successfully and probably successfully beat um, Blank Dream. And now let's see what happens. It's dark. Boy, they got hit by a car. Huh? Hey! Ayato? Why are you here? Because this soul is necessary for granting your wish. Hello, Hello me. So you successfully broke all the mirrors. Your wish will soon come true and this world's purpose will be concluded. What do you mean? Yeah. This mirror world revolves around you, Mishiro. You hold dominion over it. Yay. Once a deceased... Once a deceased girl wished, uh, once a deceased girl wished at Mirror Lake, I wish my life had never existed. It was a very strong wish, and to fill it, fulfill it, the Mirror World was created. It was a, it was made solely to realize her wish. The other souls were just extras drawn into it. She should have granted her wish in this, she should have granted her wish in this world she made, but she wasn't able to fulfill it because she broke before she could. Just as she entered this world, she lost everything, including her memories and her wish. So not knowing her purpose or, or who she was, she wandered this world and fell apart. That's in the past now, a concluded tale. Unable to achieve its goal, this world went on existing, sucking in souls who died near the lake with strong wishes. Several years later, a girl threw herself into the lake. Amazingly, she had the same wish as this world's creator. So that this world could be could complete its duty, it chose a new soul to control it. And so since you carried the same wish, you became the new ruler, usurping the originator. The wish the world sought to grant stayed the same, only the person in the center of it was replaced. I was made the ruler of this world? The extra riffraff you feel jealousy the extra riffraff who feel jealousy towards you still see the broken originator as the rightful ruler. And maybe break, and maybe broken though she may be, she's personally gotten in your way at times. She's the shadow. <sighs> Wonderful. Even so, you successfully broke all the mirrors without even wasting weeks or months being lost. You shattered and erased all remnants of you in the form of mirrors containing your past. Having recorded all your actions, I can attest to that. Yay. But it's not but it's not over just yet. This boy's soul is absolutely necessary for total erasure of your life because he's simply too significant to you. Without eradicating his soul, your life can't be nullified. So it was none other than you who unconsciously bound his soul to this world, such that you could kill him by your own hand. Why? You you aren't telling me I I have to kill Ayato. What's the problem? You may feel guilty for a second, but right after that, you'll have never existed. Yay! 
Mishra, you're still suffering, huh? No. If you kill me, you'll be free from your pain. Right after my death, your con your con conflict will end. It's your wish. You, you can make the choice. Okay. You've either let's see, we've either got a violent way. answer or a selfish answer. Violence. Violent or selfish. Violence. What am I? Flip a coin, pick violence. There's no choice to make. I threw myself into, in to put an, I threw myself in to put an end to it all. And yet I wound up in this world learning all these unnecessary things led astray. I just, I'm just tired of any of this. I've worked hard enough, so just grant me my wishes already. The moment the knife in Mishiro's hand pierced Ayato, Mishiro lost consciousness. With no time to feel satisfaction nor regret from what she'd done, Mishra Ushi, Ushi bleh, eternally vanished from existence. Not just silence, not just stillness, but void. Deep butt. There Mishra Ushi was peaceful, free from everything, eternally sleeping in the cradle of nothingness. That sounds like Princess's life. And her dream was, that sounds more like Biff's life. <laughs> I'm a happy person. Yeah, except oh, yeah. except his void is actually full of... Never mind. <laughs> because he does something a lot, probably. Cocaine. It's full of a lot of semen. And <laughs> her dream was... Sh <laughs> and, and her dream was surely a hollow white. <laughs> she masturbated too much. Oh my god, I just said it. Oh my god. Ending four. Fulfilled. Her wish was granted. She was surely happy. Because my penis was there. <laughs> well, this has been a wonderful story and also very scary from running from shadow people the entire time. It's the original rule of the realm. She was pissed off at you. I don't give a fuck. Oh my god. So much running. So much forgetting how to run. Shift is always run. <laughs> Remember, children, shift is always run until they make a game that goes against those rules just to screw with you. And I'll leave you with that thought. Bye!